Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through my trades of the past few days and explaining why I am still in a short position here on Bitcoin. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy and uh, let's begin uh, from the rise up this morning. Okay, so obviously we're going into London's open, always a little bit of activity going into that and uh, what we can see is it was a large amount of activity actually, uh, finding support in the end from a 0.5 fib and uh, seeing a large increase to the upside here. Okay, by 0.5 fib let me just easier to load this up from the very low down here okay at 10,300 to the high up at 9,000 uh, 10,900 okay from low to high we're obviously finding support of the 0.5 fib and actually there that in fact was not my trade uh, but my trade as posted in the group for them all uh, was a short position from 10,430 okay so my short here though has hit take profit one okay and I'm actually locking in 50% uh, profits at take profit one because I'm finding this range really choppy and uh, my saying I believe now is you never went broke taking profits and honestly taking profits in this market condition is so key okay um, so I, I closed out 50% at 10,250 and you might say oh my god uh you know you could have got down and closed out at 10,160 uh you know for me I'm a you know day trading this so this is a day trading short and you have to remember I'm I really don't care <laughs> if I don't lock out the maximum amount of profits that were in that move okay as long as I'm consistently making money uh, I don't care for getting the exact uh the exact amount of everything okay uh, to be honest okay what we can see here is at 10,250 though there was a support level and a resistance level so what, what does one expect? Okay, you expect to find support there. So that was me taking 50%. Yes, it went down a little bit lower, but never mind. Okay, so now I have trailed. And I'll show you the entry, by the way, on this one hour. Really, really nice. You obviously had this really critical area of resistance prior, and you got the exact candle closed there. So for me, that was my entry, 10,334, okay? 10,000, well, 10,432 to be exact, okay? And that was the short. Feeling like 26th of August, uh, if you know that reference. <laughs> obviously, on the 26th of August on Bitcoin, it had a big rise to the upside and just, just trickled down the whole day and gave it all back. So uh, kind of very, very similar move up and trickle down for the rest of the day and gave it all back okay so <laughs> very very similar um I, if i say so so myself okay but now reviewing what we've actually seen for the last few days uh what we can see is move up okay so we obviously had this move up which was in a really nice parallel channel from low to high to low to high to low and in fact in the end getting a high up here around uh well it took off it took obviously the liquidity so we come up to the very high here 10,950 stops the people out that are trading their stop losses and uh <laughs> typical crypto uh going for those stops and then getting a move down okay um as you saw here got in that short right at the very top by the way <laughs> so that was a very nice entry if i say so myself um <laughs> that was on that was on a day by the way that i predicted the move up from 10,700 got the move up uh took profits here trailed stop losses on the on the longs okay got obviously stopped out on my long in profit but i also had opened a short from the daily at 10,925 or exactly 10,924 and you can see the uh lovely reaction that we had from that and then from finding our low Going into, uh, this was uh, yesterday, we obviously saw the low, a nice like rise, this was over the course of a day and a half, but a course of a rise, and where did you get, like how you found support here on the 0 0.5 Fibonacci, you found resistance on this 0.5 Fibonacci, so from high to low, resistance 0.5 Fib, secondary move down, and then what caused that drop going into London's Open, okay, we obviously saw that from high to low, rejection, 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 rejections from the 0.5 Fibonacci, and where have we got rejected from today, the 0.5 Fibonacci, so that's obviously lower, high, lower, high lower high uh potential higher low here so it's just all becoming squeezed in again okay so um yeah i find that fascinating i i uh, love fibonacci and that's the reason why it consistently <laughs> makes me money um so what's there not to love um so yeah reviewing this now what we can see I, I would say, although I'm in a short position, obviously I've taken profits here, move stops down into profit. So this can kind of do what it likes from here. I'm off out for football actually <laughs> in an hour, so won't be actively trading this anymore. Um, but what we can say here, I'll, I'll go give a bit of a larger view. Okay, I'm, I'm still watching this high, 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 a potential lower high still. So really this trend line, uh, which for me is best looked at from the 618 here. Okay, so we're looking at around 10,000. 11,200 okay so about 11,200 obviously the high of this channel or the uh, descending potential triangle that we've got going on is about 10,700 okay so 10,800 10,800 ish okay it's going to be the channel 
but uh, like we're probably going to see on crypto is a, is, a, is a fake out okay so um, yeah this is why I'm really looking at the, the 618 from uh, 112 okay obviously what we have to acknowledge though is, is breaking out of this trend line is in fact uh, a bullish viewpoint okay although you have to be careful of, of, a, of a fake out okay as with anything you have to really be careful of the fake out so that's why I'm looking at resistance of the of this and the 618 uh, and, su and support wise, okay, is 9,800, okay, and that's the 618 of this simple move, okay, which is also coming in on an overall 618. So that's really key support coming in at around, uh, we'll just say 10,000 to 9,850, like little, little range there that we would have of support. Um, so yeah, I would say that we're likely, very likely going to be in that range for the next 48 hours, I would say. Um, so we're looking down at support 98, okay, and resistance about 10.7. Uh, and then on the macro, or, sorry, the micro, uh, the micro of obviously just seeing lower high, lower high, lower high. So that's lower highs are coming in at around now 10,580, let's say. Okay, so 10,580, low of the day being um, 10,090, okay, or to be exact, 10,000, yeah, 10,090, low of the day. So a smaller range within the range now okay so this is for me uh not i don't see a favorable setup now in the range here okay so this is as a day trader you need to know when to trade and when not to trade i guess and for me there this is not a, a trade entry long or short where it is at the moment i'm I'm more than happy to have taken profits and trailed stops in profits and and just be sat out and waiting for this to make its next move if you remember uh from my last video where price must have been sat around here and i said I also could not see a very nice setup and entry. And it's the, the case of waiting for the setups to come to me. That's really what I do as a trader. I wait for them to come to me and then I will take my entries when my requirements are met. I'm not a, a slave to the market. I will let the market show its hands. Okay, imagine we're in a game of poker. I'll wait for the market to show its hands and then I'll come along and take the money. I, I will not try and guess what the market's going to do when I can just wait and get for some confirmation and then have the probabilities in my favor okay as it stands right here at 10,260 I do not see a probabilities in my favor trade to be opening a new position so I'm more than happy to be sat in my shorts and if uh, price does in fact stop me out and we get something like this going on well then I'll obviously reassess to see if there's a potential for long but I really am a trader that will <laughs> is very very patient we'll wait for it to come to me and if I see no setups I just won't trade okay it's as simple as that uh so yeah Overall, uh, after explaining all that, I am in my short position. Uh, would be looking down for around 9.8. Okay, and if we obviously keep closing through that, then we're looking down for for monthly 9,000 and, and lower. I'll, I'll update that if it comes. I don't want to just give away, um, you know, go for all these bearish scenarios when it's not currently um, in a downtrend. Okay, we are still holding these lows. So let's keep it one step at a time. Okay, for the video's sake. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is everything. Um, obviously... Just to recap, local, you know, midterm support, 9,900, and then that resistance, 96, more or less. Um, yeah, obviously, everything is going very well. Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this quick update. I will say about this giveaway a second. Um, so obviously, I posted last night. Uh, where is it here? Yeah, so I'm doing a giveaway over on uh, Twitter. All you literally need to do is, is uh, follow like and retweet comment done okay and that is for uh, one thousand dollars in prizes giveaway so who wouldn't want to win <laughs> and um yeah this is just so you're aware it's for when i reach ten thousand followers we're currently on nine thousand five hundred so five hundred more and the, this will be done all on live stream uh for you all so that'll be pretty exciting so yeah i uh, hope that you're looking forward to that one um shouldn't be long i don't think but uh we'll see how that long that takes in the end still in that short and yeah training those stops now and we'll have to review how this goes probably get maybe get some activity coming into 8 p.m utc normally a bit of activity going in there so we'll review in like two hours well i will anyway in the group review in two hours how that's going and I hope that you have all thoroughly enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, let's zoom out and just give you that overall perspective again. Okay, so uh, thank you, everybody. I um, hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> thank you so much. Good night. Bye.